Hi, my name is Anton and in this video I will tell you about Oak D Pro camera. I already did review uh, on the Oak camera and on the Oak D Light camera, but uh, this camera is completely different. In this video I will focus on a few main points. How is this camera different from other cameras? Uh, how OAG D Pro is made, uh, what problem uh, will you meet and how to overcome them, um, depth quality. Uh, here we will speak about uh, how active lightning works and uh, how it helps to improve the quality. Um, uh, we will try to estimate uh, the real dip depth quality that uh, you will have with OAG D Pro camera. And uh, camera comparison. Uh, we will compare depth quality, pricing and uh, technical features with uh, different cameras uh, like something like RailSense and a lot of different cameras. Uh, before we start, I'd like to thank two peoples. Uh, uh, without whom this video wouldn't be possible. First is uh, CEO of Luxonis, uh, Brandon. Uh, he sent us uh, the camera for testing. And uh, the second is Vasily, my colleague, uh, who helped me to test the camera in different environments. First of all, uh, let's speak about the main idea of the OGD Pro cameras and its positioning. OGD Pro differs from the previous OG family by the presence of active lightning. Uh, the main problem with a classic stereo algorithm is they do not work with surfaces without irregular texture. And the easiest way to fix it is to create the texture yourself. Let's look at how it appears. Uh, the dots here are an active light projection from OGD Pro camera. Uh, but you can say that there are a lot of uh, cameras on the market with active lighting. Yes, of course, uh, here I made a small list for you. Uh, but in my opinion, the real competitors, it's only or back cameras. They are very cheap and real sense cameras because they uh, also uh, merge in depth uh, map the image from uh, active camera and from stereo cameras. Uh, but we will speak about this in the end of the video. Uh, here I, I just want to mention that uh, OAK uh, family uh, have internal computing model for neural network to processing. And uh, it's very useful from some project, and uh, this is the main difference uh, from uh, cameras with active lightning on the market. Let's speak about OG D Pro quality. It looks really nice. Metal body, several types of mounting holes, all good except the power supply. It's very unstable and constantly disconnecting. It's not a big problem, you just need to buy a different Y looking splitter. Uh, here I leave some constructions that may help. Or you can just buy OGD Pro Power over Ethernet version. It looks good. Let's talk about heating. This is a separate problem inherent uh, in the AUG series due to presence of an NPU chip on board. In my last video you could uh, see how I tested the heat level. Here we check it with more classic approach. And the temperature looks the same, around 50 degrees Celsius. It's good enough, but uh, you need to take into account that using such uh, cameras in the open sun in the heat can be problematic. Okay, okay, I know why you watch this video. Let's talk about depth quality. Let's look at how the active illumination work. Significantly improvement. But uh, does it improve everything? No, of course. Here is a nice sample of surfaces with the direct sun. And as you can see, 
In bright sunlight, the laser dots become hard to see. Happy to walk, uh, D. It has additional stereo depths, but the dynamic range of the matrix may still be not good enough for such condition. Let's speak about accuracy. First, about uh, near range. Last time when I tested Oak Delight, I tested accuracy from uh, 20 cm to 1 m with 10 cm step. And the accuracy was around from 1 to 2% of the distance. This time we modified the procedure a bit. We make measurement only for three distances, but uh, wrote a small script to calculate statistics. We get the same 1% of accuracy with 0.3% of dispersion. It's pretty normal for uh, active light cameras. But after that, we look at the documentation and find pretty interesting words. And uh, the second parts here uh, look pretty strange to me. Uh, let's discuss and test it. Uh, active depths usually doesn't work on distances more than 5 or 6 meters. Uh, so we need to compare with stereo cameras. And from stereo cameras, uh, Z camera, Z2, uh, have pretty good data sheet that uh, we can look at. Um, let's look at it. Uh, the main difference is that uh, Z camera have bigger distance between uh, cameras on it, uh, 1.6 times bigger. Uh, they provide 35 meters, uh, but uh, here you can see the problem. Uh, that provide 7% of accuracy for distances up to uh, 30 meters uh, and didn't provide accuracy on 35 meters. Uh, but as I said before, that have 1.6 bigger distance between cameras. With OAG D Pro, the accuracy will be worse. Uh, let's try to check it. It's pretty hard to measure with scientific accuracy, so we decided to make a few easy tests. The results are not precise, but they can tell you some estimation. First one, we just measure how depth is drifting for standing still camera and objects on the 10 meters distance. And we get errors about 0.5 meters. It looks a bit more than that errors if we multiply them by 1.6. It's okay because the errors are not linear with distances. Second test. Vasily tested the distance with different cars under his apartment on distances more than 20 meters. And he gets that error is more than 3 meters. And again, it's comparable with Z cameras. For the third test, we made a small script uh, to measure distance on a pretty good stand. As you can see, the far the point is from the camera, the more the difference for near points. Sadly, uh, Luxonis didn't provide a complete accuracy board for uh, different distances. But for me, it looks like this. Something like 1% uh, of distance until 2 or 3 meters. Something like uh, 4 on or 5% of accuracy uh, up to 10 meters. And something like 15 or even more percent uh, uh, of distance uh, on distances more than 25 meters. I think that uh, results are ok uh, and they are more than comparable with different uh, stereo cameras uh, and of course with uh, depth cameras. Uh, and take into account that uh, many cameras just uh, cut result on the long distances to doesn't provide inaccurate data. Uh, but for me, when I get all possible information, it's better than I didn't get all possible information. 
Here we are showing you a small test where you can compare RailSense D435 and OAG D Pro yourself. Just look at the artifact on the arm and the distance between the fingers for different cameras. Uh, we assume that RailSense gives better quality. As I mentioned before, there are only two competitors for OAGD Pro in terms of price. It's real sense cameras and or back cameras. But uh, they are for completely different purposes. Uh, here you can check the main difference, in my opinion. But the main competitors, of course, is classic stereo cameras. And the only thing where they are worse is um, quality for close distance. So let's summarize everything. In my opinion, the OGD Pro camera is a good camera. But still, uh, if you choose it, uh, the main requirement for you should be the presence of a neural accelerator or uh, something about the ecosystem around uh, OAG community. Uh, as a 3D camera for close distance, I would prefer the real sense cameras because the quality is a bit better. And for uh, long distances, uh, I will choose classic stereo cameras, OAG-D uh, OAG camera on, or OAG-D light camera on, or Z camera on, or Minti camera, because uh, the price uh, will be cheaper. But, of course, uh, OAG-D Pro is a good camera for some of cases. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe on this channel or on my LinkedIn or on my Telegram channel. Thank you again. Bye.